you launch an easy anti-cheat protected game, and it's a long list of games protected by EAC, and get an error, untrusted system file, and then it names the file, and it's also a very long list of files that the anti-cheat may not like. If you search help online, you may find a long list of comments advising you to do certain things. Unfortunately, most of those actions will not fix this error, and you will just waste your time. The first advice you will most probably get is to either verify the local game files or completely reinstall the game. Even though it does help in certain cases, but those are very rare. And the reason for this is the error specifically says untrusted system file, not game file, system file. There is something with your operating system that Easy Anti Cheat doesn't like. Trying to fix your Windows by running commands such as SFC scan now or DSM restore health also might help in very rare cases, but oftentimes it's again a waste of time, but it doesn't take long, so you may try that. Running anything as administrator, either the game or the anti cheat or both, is a bad idea in any case. In the game world, almost nothing, except very rare Chinese anti-cheats, for example Genshin Impact, so apart from that, nothing requires running as administrator. The error has nothing to do with your memory, so running memtest 86 the proper way, that means leaving it overnight, will be a waste of time. Disabling your firewall and antivirus is a good advice in any case, However, in this particular case, disabling controlled folder access in Windows Defender Security Center or adding the game folder to exceptions in Windows Defender or any other antivirus you use will not fix this issue. As well as scanning for viruses, even though this issue may be caused by a virus, the probability of that is very low. And the same goes for some weird advice like enabling TPM in your BIOS, to fix this error with easy anti-cheat is also not relevant because currently the only anti-cheat that requires TPM enabled and only in Windows 11 is the Valorant anti-cheat which is called OneGuard and made by Riot, again a Chinese company and currently only the Chinese anti-cheats seem to be requiring administrative access to your computer to work. So what should you do? As I said, there are way many games protected by Easy Anti Cheat, and the errors contain way many different files, so I cannot cover all of them, but I will give you a simple guideline how to fix this error yourself. First of all, you will need to understand how Easy Anti Cheat works. Basically, it scans all the files that are currently running to determine that the files do not contain any vulnerabilities, at least known ones, that could be exploited by cheaters. That's why if there is, for example, a system library, which is a DLL file, that is known to have contained some vulnerabilities in the past that have been addressed and fixed in the newer version of the same file, it will complain about that. The way Easy Anti Cheat knows about those files is through certificates. There is a special folder inside Easy Anti Cheat, which is usually located inside each game folder, so if you have multiple games protected by Easy Anti Cheat, each of the game folders will have its own copy of Easy Anti Cheat with its own certificate store. The certificates are located in the folder Certificates, and there is also licenses. And sometimes this certificate store is either corrupted or not updated. The easiest way to force Easy Anti Cheat to update the certificate store is to delete both the certificate folder and the licenses folder if you have one, then run Easy Anti Cheat Setup from the same folder and just click Repair. Basically, it will uninstall and then reinstall Easy Anti Cheat and will re download the certificates folder. In most cases, the problem will be solved. If it's not, in many cases, it is safe to delete the file that Easy Anti Cheat doesn't like. Don't be afraid to delete files even in Windows system folders. If it's a really important file, Windows will not allow you to do that. However, in some cases, you delete the file, launch the game, and it starts complaining about a different file. 
you delete this other file, launch the game again, and easy anti-cheat complains about yet a different file. Then you will have to understand what this file does. The easiest example is VC runtime. VC runtime is obviously part of Microsoft Visual C redistributables. You can actually follow the path that the error shows, in this case, Windows System32 folder, where this VC runtime 140.dll is located, find this file, right click on it, select properties, and in the details tab, you will find that this file is part of Microsoft C runtime libraries. There are lots of Visual C redistributables with lots of files, and the problem is they are not really updating each other. You cannot just have the latest Visual C redistributable, for example, 2023, and that's it. You have to have all of them. 2005, 2008, 2010, 2012, 2013, 2015, 2017, 2019, in both variants for 32-bit systems and for 64-bit systems, all of those redistributables have to be installed on your computer simultaneously since they don't really supersede each other. So you cannot just have the latest version from, for example, 2023, and that's it. You need all of them. So if Easy Anti-Cheat is complaining about Microsoft C Runtime Library, the easiest way is to reinstall all of them. And the easiest way to do that is to go to this website, download the cumulative pack that includes all Visual C redistributables. Don't forget to unpack it. Do not launch it from inside the zip archive. Unpack it into any folder, maybe even to your desktop, but that needs to be extracted. After you extract all the files, just click on the install all. In some cases, there may be a warning from Windows Defender. Ignore that and allow this file to execute. This will install all the redistributables that are required. So if the problem was with the Visual C, reinstalling all of them should fix the problem with Easy Anti-Cheat. Another common problem is Easy Anti-Cheat not liking some of the Windows files. That may be normalis.dll or uxtheme.dll. You can also check those files by opening their properties and go into details, and you will see that these are parts of Windows. And probably they do contain some vulnerabilities that could be exploited, that's why Easy Anti-Cheat doesn't like them. In this case, you will need to install Windows updates, since this problem mostly appears on those systems that were not updated for years. Some are afraid to update their Windows since they fear to lose Windows license. I'm not sure how this is going to happen though, since if you're on official legal version of Windows, it will carry on the license and you will not lose your license. And if you are on a pirated version that you have activated through some shady means, I don't see the problem of reactivating it again. Being on a pirated version of Windows does not prevent you from downloading updates. They will still be downloaded and installed just fine, with a single exception of a very, very old Windows 7 crack, which involved changing some system kernel files. That's the only exception where updating the system will cease it to boot. However, Windows 7 is a 15-year-old system by now. It has been long since discontinued and not supported by most gaming services, including Steam and many others. So yeah, this is probably not the case. So if you have easy anti-cheat complaining on Windows system files, you may want to install Windows updates. Another common problem with easy anti-cheat is complaining about Steam Client 64 DLL. The most probable reason is not that your Steam Client is not updated, since most probably you have it in Auto Start and it will update itself each time you start your computer and there is an update. The reason for easy anti-cheat complaining about Steam is that you have probably entered Steam Beta. So what you need to do is exit Steam Beta, Maybe reboot your computer and Easy Anti-Cheat will stop complaining about Steam Client. Sometimes Easy Anti-Cheat complains about other software, for example, Kaspersky Antivirus, and the reason is the same. You have not updated Kaspersky Antivirus itself, 
not the virus databases, but the program itself, for a long time. So you must either update Kaspersky or uninstall it from your PC altogether. Sometimes easy anti-cheat complains about the game files themselves. For example, in Rage MP, which is an unofficial multiplayer for GTA 5, it may complain about GTA 5 game files or Rockstar Social Club files. The solution is the same. Update the game, update Social Club. And in some cases, you will need to reinstall Windows. Yes, it is a solution, and in most cases, the best one. And that is not reset to factory, that is a complete full reinstall by booting a Windows installation media, deleting everything from your drives, and um, performing a fresh reinstall of Windows. However, what I would suggest is to have two Windows installations on the same PC. It could be easily done if you have several drives, but even if you have a single drive, that still can be achieved. So basically, you will have two windows. The first one you will use however you want, but the second one will be only used for gaming. So you will have your easy anti-cheat and especially Riot Vanguard anti-cheat there and the games and nothing else, so the anti-cheats will have little to complain about. And in most cases, having a gaming Windows installation and a general purpose Windows installation separately on the same machine is the best way to go. I am the god of YouTube. Like, subscribe, thanks. Jingle bells.